Hey there. So I was praying this morning with some guys and I, uh, I had a visitor on the, on the call who came up to me, Tyler. Um, and we're just kind of like being really affectionate and <clears throat> with a cat that <clears throat> that's normally kind of like expected, but he's been sick and he's been, he's sort of dying. Um, he's 15 years old and he's, he, you can't t really tell in the video, but he's all bones. You can just, feel his ribs and everything and we've taken him in and he's got heart problems and who knows what else but anyway the reason <laughs> this is striking is that he's not been that affectionate lately because he's been sick and I've not been that affectionate lately to him um, I've been kind of like sick and tired of him a little bit if I'm honest and kind of thinking that maybe it's his time to go and put him to sleep and all that which as I was praying, the Lord kind of like showed me how a lot of times um, it's people who are sick and dying and smelly and cause us a lot of inconveniences <clears throat> that he engages most, right? I mean, look at Jesus who walked into places with lepers and, and different you know places that no one really wanted to go and that's where he ministered and healed and was really effective <clears throat> so I, as i'm praying the cat's like rubbing me and the lord is showing me this and you know about my own heart and about how we often avoid places or people where people smell and are dying and that's not god's plan so um, it was just a powerful little moment so much so that I actually shared it with the guys on the call. I said, Hey, I want to say something and pray some more, you know, that and my prayer is that we wouldn't be offended by people who are, who are, who smell, who are dying, who are, um, sick, who are afraid. A lot of Tyler, this cat, the first, like, 13 years of his life, he was afraid. He barely came out from underneath the bed. I never, we never, you never saw him. And then as he got sick, he, uh, <coughs> he started coming out and acting more like this, but he hasn't been like this for, with me for a little while. And so he was today as I was praying and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that God used this cat who I've not been that nice to, to remind me <laughs> of his love going in the tough places. So my prayer that's my prayer for all of, for all of us. You know, we've done a good job as a society segregating ourselves from the dying having even the elderly put in homes and, and places where we don't see them. And yet that's where God works and that's where he wants to show his love. So I pray that that we would be reminded of that that even when we go into places or meet people who are sick, who smell that we would be um, we'd be okay with that and that we'd be, we'd, we'd welcome it even, and we'd love those people and we'd touch those people. I don't, <clears throat> I don't always do a good job of that. Um, and Tyler reminded me of that today. So anyway, bless you guys.